something I neglected to do on the ledgers. I'll have to, I'll take that one back off and, and do it, is to put a little chamfer on the edge. We got really sharp edges here. And I, I like sharp edges, but uh, it looks unfinished. So we just put a little 45 degree chamfer on there. Not too much. And it looks nice, it looks, uh, looks a lot more finished. Just takes a second. I'm going to plane all the sides, uh, or hand plane all the sides too, to take out the tool marks from the saw and the pencil marks. A trick I learned from Paul Sellers that makes the whole hand planing experience so much more delightful is uh, the little uh, rag with some, I just use ballastol. Love, I love the smell of it. Uh, have that in a little tin there and a little bit on the bottom. You won't believe the difference. The friction essentially just goes away and it's just effortless and you get that nice smell of the, well, I like it. Some people don't like the smell of ballastol. I think it smells really good. I didn't like it at first, but I sure like it now.
So uh, let me try to explain what's going on here. So this is the completed, uh, the bottom ledger. And these are the, the supports, of course, you know, the ones we, that we've been working on, they're gonna go here. There's gonna be three of them. So I've got, uh, I've got these uh, pre-drilled here and countersunk uh, for the lag screws. So these are gonna, there's gonna be two uh, four inch screws, I think, three or four inch screws, four inch screws that go in there that hold that on there. Now the weight of the bench is gonna press down against this, it's gonna be super strong. And then our fasteners will all be behind, in the back, coming in from the back of the ledger, so we won't see anything making that connection there. It'll look really clean and nice. So I held these pretty close out to the outside because typically you wanna, real, you wanna put your vise on the corner of your bench not in the middle of the bench. And the reason for that is that you can get to it from two sides. It gives more versatility. That, and usually you have a post on the corner or a really strong structural element. So if you're pounding on it, you, you minimize that bounce. You get that, that energy transferring directly through the post into the ground or, or in the floor. So that's why that. And of course, because the span is so big, it's 10 feet, uh, I've, I've added one in the middle too, uh, just, just for extra strength. So there'll be three of them like that, but you can kind of see how that's coming together now. And you know, here from a, from a different angle, that's going to look really nice, isn't it? I think the dimensions are really good at double, that double, uh, I don't know that you would have needed to glue this. You could have put screws in from the side, but when I, I when I build stuff, the more, what I really, I kind of enjoy doing is, is um, doing it with his, not, with the, not showing screws or fasteners as much as possible. It's not, of course, you know, we're gonna see these cleats and all that, but um, that thing will look good. So next time we'll do the brackets um, and then we'll get the whole bench uh, mounted up um, and, then, and then we'll laminate and do the tabletop. That's gonna be, it'd be two options you could do. You could use plywood. Um, I'm gonna laminate uh, the two by sixes. So I'll show you how to do that, glue everything together and have a really nice heavy bench uh, top kind of like a, well, it's kind of like a poor man's butcher block, uh, but just using just normal stuff from um, big box store, your local lumber yard. I want to give a big hearty thank you uh, to my subscribers in the comments. You guys saved me from making um, a pretty bad mistake. I would have never caught it. It didn't even dawn on me. So when I set this ledger height, I told you I wanted this ledger to be, or the top of the bench to be the same height as my carpet or my woodworking bench. I didn't account for the three quarter inch extra thickness that's going to, that I'm going to have with the floor. Um, so I would have, I, I measured this off the floor, I measured that off the floor. That bench would have been up another three quarters of an inch. That would have bothered me to no end. So thanks for that. <laughs> thanks for pointing that out. So I'll, uh, I gotta take this off to chamfer the edges and, and all that, but we'll raise it up three quarters of an inch and, and uh, hope I'm not missing anything else out there, or missing anything else. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video. Oh, and also it's Jack's birthday today. So if you wanna wish him a happy birthday in the comments, um, uh, Mrs. W and I would be happy to read those to him too. So thanks, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Not the view that we're used to seeing, is it? Boy, it has been snowing. It's snowed all night. It's been snowing all day. We probably have uh, an accumulation of, I don't know, probably over six inches, maybe six or eight inches. Um, just beautiful. I guess this is our third major storm, winter 3.0, as we're calling it around here. So it's, uh, what is it, Friday? It's Friday, my favorite day, Friday at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 3.01. And uh, just came in from the wood shop and I well, got lots of done today. Uh, not in today's video, but uh, the next one, uh, things are really all starting to come together. But, uh, oh, you know, it's nice to knock off a little bit early on Friday. Look forward to the Sabbath starting this sunset and boy, what a blessing it has been for our family. We've done it for years now and, and to take one day a week um, and where we do no work. Um, be together as a family, play games. Um, if the weather's right, we might even just go up and go skiing tomorrow. But um, it's just uh, you know, it's something that has just helped our family so much. It, if you're like me and you're a kind of a workaholic or you work a lot like so many Americans do, um, it's something that forces you uh, not to. And, and at first, it's kind of hard to get used to because you think, Oh, I've got to stay at home and there's all these projects that I should be doing and I'm not doing them. But when you finally kind of embrace it and, and just really incorporate it into your life, it becomes um, something you really look forward to. Because you can 
um, be with your family and you can sleep in or you can do whatever you want to do that day um, guilt-free, knowing that, you know what, my family, we, we honor God on the seventh day of the week. We don't. Um, we're not doing work. And so, um, you know, what that looks like for you or what it looks like for me, you know, it's not, not the same for any two people, but uh, whether it be the seventh day or the first day of the week, whatever you decide to keep, do it. Even if you are not a person of faith, um, set one day aside for your family. And it's like, this is our family day. This is a day that we're going to uh, have together. It, um, you'll be, uh, you'll be glad you did. So, all right, well, we're heading out. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.